Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Chris. And welcome to Sonnet Television. Now, making pasta is an interesting talent, right? There's a lot of skill that goes into it, and there's a lot of ingredients. A lot of ingredients. It. And also, there's a lot of different types of pastas. Of course. Which I know pretty much nothing about, because I'm Irish, and all as we know about is quality potatoes. But the most important thing is, if you make pasta, you need to know how to make it, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with a product from Sound Off, it might be interesting to know how to mount it. How to mount it, how to accessorize it better. Exactly. So why don't you go over to the factory and show us how to mount Empire Fascia product. I probably should say fascia, but there we go. For those of you who happen to be taking advantage of Sound Off Signal's M Power Fascia LED light heads in the quick mount with that great adhesive 3M backing, or in the stud mount option, we have a great array of new and convenient mounting options that you can take advantage of. Starting over here to my left is the angle wedges that are available, so perfect when it comes to correcting the M-Power light heads and being nice and vibrant level with the horizon. Starting it out is a simple five degree wedge. There is a 15 degree, and the most angle available is going to be the 35 degree. So these are a great, nice and clean option, perfect for correcting these on your vehicle's fenders, fender flares or when equipping them onto a canopy. For those of you who want to take advantage of bracketry for exterior or interior mounting, something that's nice and heavy duty but gives you the ability to correct the angle, these are going to be what we call the clip brackets. So here is an example that's a nice black powder coat finish and this is going to be an option for the stud mount. And what this will allow you to do is clip on the basing of the bracket so the inset there onto your vehicle's upper back of the hood, rear trunk lip, or somewhere in a front vehicle grill slat. If this isn't going to work for you and you'd rather have a nice affixed mount, something permanent to run through the vehicle's push bumper, grill, or taking advantage to the side windows or rear deck, here is a deck grill bracket. So very, very similar to this guy here. Difference is going to be that it is a simple flat bottom. So perfect when it comes to a simple installation process and included self-tapping screws here. So when you're using the stud mounted M-Power fascias, the studs will extend through the brackets and when you're tightening up the nuts on the back, that is where the angle and correcting it will come into play for you. For a quick clip-on, and this is something that you can take advantage anywhere that you may find a spot, a nice simple lightweight aluminum bracket with a thin clip. So again, you could bend this, stretch it, do whatever you want with it. And to help affix the light head and the clip itself, 3M double-sided adhesive also included. So this is going to be again for the quick mount version. But if you wanted to drill a few holes, you could take over the stud mount M power fascia. License plate mounting on the front or the rear of your vehicle, a nice option here. And this is going to carry over to the stud mount or the quick mount. So black, powder coated bracketry, very nice and durable. And when it comes to these, it is going to arrange the M power so that they are in a vertical output. So you can use your single color, dual color, and tri-colors. Neat thing about this when it comes to the tabs on the side, when you're putting those together, you can actually make an adjustment to the position of the light head. So you can correct the angle and have the light heads drop down further or raised more above the license plate. So something you can custom tune to your exact preference. Nice other option when it comes to these great, powerful little light heads and bringing them to your vehicle's interior so you're not having any of that blinding, annoying flashback. Well, this is their window shroud, a simple polycarbonate angled scoop, and this is going to take advantage of the stud mount backing, and you could use the four inch or the three inch M power with this. It's a nice little kit, so this is the scoop, and this is where the light head will go mounted through the front. To affix it into your vehicle, foam to help it align and suck onto the curved glass, so the rear window or the front windshield, and simple install with Velcro on this and rounding out the back with a cast plate. And this in the rear is where the hardware, again for the stud mount, will drop through and lock into position, allowing the M powers to be perfectly aligned with the vehicle's horizon, maximizing their brilliant potency. 
And speaking of potency, with a flip of the switch here behind the counter, a great example of this firing away, solid red, and the four inch version. So just imagine what you can do with these powerful little lights and all the great bracketry we have available now. Well, of course, it would take Stuart to completely mess up from the control room upstairs. The Empower Fascia, not Fascia. Fascia is a small cat that hangs around the studio sometimes, which then gets chased by one of the dogs. <laughs> anyway, nice product, very simple, very easy. Mm -hmm. But as I said earlier, like pasta, there's a whole bunch of different types of pastas. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes different things. So some noodles are thicker, some are thinner, there's different toppings. So like the bracket options that we have for these great lights from Sound Off, right neat ways that you can further enhance them and make them all perfect on your vehicle. There you go. And thanks for being such a sport to watching us talking about things which are totally irrelevant, but are very important if you want to mount your product. I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. You've been watching Sunday Television. As always, thanks for watching.